to calculate uh, sample size in an acceptance sampling plan, uh, it is done in three ways. Um, number one is the based on the producer risk alpha. As we know, the uh, alpha is the producer risk or type one error. So based on alpha value. And typically it is uh, 0 0.05. Now this is the formula to calculate the sample size. Now this um, uh, probability of acceptance or NP value as you have seen before in, in the uh, operating characteristics CARP uh, curation. This NP is the average number of defective. Now that comes from uh, this table. Imagine that we use the alpha value equal to 0 0.05 and then um, the PA, now for C equals one, um, and then assume that the uh, producer acceptance um, um, quality is 1.2%, uh, something like that. Now for C value one, we can see that the 95% um, uh, alpha is um, this value. So if we extract from this um, table, so n equal to, we can write then 0.355 divide by 1.2%, that means 0 0.012, which is equal to, if we calculate it, that's gonna be about 30. So the sample size, if we use uh, C value one, that is the sample size, so let's say C N one. Now, if we use C value is um, two, for example, let's see what do we get. So N two, uh, meaning that C value two, uh, so we just be looking at this, which is a point eight one eight divided by point zero one two is equal to 68 um, size and then we can also calculate similarly let's say for example 6 c value when we set equal to 6 what is the sample uh, size so that's the value we'll be extracting from the table so 3.286 divided by 0 0.012 that is equal to 274 so we got um, so for the same um, producer risk alpha value 0 0.05 we can have different sample size if we change the c value for c value equal to 1 uh, the sample size gets n equals 30 c value is equal to 2 sample size is calculated 68 c value is 6 sample size calculated is uh, 274 for a producer point of view uh, pro producer is kind of indifferent of between these choices. So if I plot that in a graph, this is how it looks like. So this is the line that uh, the AQL, so that's AQL, say so 0.12, uh, use that. So that's the value of A. Q L, and that is the 0.90, sorry about that. So this is, let me get the pen. So this is the 0 0.95 level, 95. So this is the same producer risk 0 0.05 and you can see three different operating characteristics curve, three sampling plans. So based on producer risk, uh, you could select either of them. Producer really does not care. And we'll see based on consumer risk and also based on both of them. There is always a trade-off, which one do you do? So there is no, just not a single plan that you can use when you calculate the sample size. So in the next videos, I will show you based on consumer risk and also based on both.